Good morning and welcome to Sunday morning prayer. It's the traditional office of Lords and we welcome you to our little monastery here in Cumbria. It's rather wet and blustery here, but I pray wherever you may be, the sun is shining. <clears throat> this morning, we light our light for our Franciscan mighty companions in our community, especially for our members who are unwell and struggling with ill health. But we also remember all our friends and our friends on social media, as well as all our Franciscan brothers and sisters within the Christian family. So we light this light to commemorate our love of God and God's abundant blessings on each one of us. And we give thanks to God for our daily bread, knowing that many of God's children today, especially in the Middle East, in parts of Africa, the Yemen and Sudan, are facing starvation. So we remember them. Amen. <clears throat> and our prologue for this Sunday morning reads, We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother, and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Sunday morning we commune with the angel of earth saying, angel of earth, enter my generative organs and regenerate my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate the life generating soil and the growing grass, feeling the currents of the angel of earth, transforming his sexual energies into regenerative forces. Amen. <clears throat> and now, for the Office of Lords, let us begin. Amen. O God, come to my aid, O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this morning is a hymn specially chosen for Lent. Lord Jesus, think on me and purge away my sin. What need I fear when thou art near? Sorry, from earthborn passion set me free and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me amid the battle strife. In all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray. Through darkness and perplexity, point thou the heavenly way. And now for the Sunday readings for week three of the Psalter, let us find the antiphon. Ah, truly your decrees are to be trusted. They are more wondrous than the surgings of the sea. And now we read the traditional Psalm 92. The Lord is king with majesty and robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved, your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord, the waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea. The Lord is glorious on high. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting for your house. O Lord, until the end of time. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for Lent, truly your decrees are to be trusted. They are more wondrous than the surgings of the sea. The second antiphon, springs of water, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. And now we have a canticle reading from the prophet Daniel. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord, and you, the stars of heavens, O bless the Lord, and you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you, all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord, and you, fire and heat, O bless the Lord, and you, cold and heat, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord, and you frost and cold, O bless the Lord, and you frost and snow, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord, and you darkness and light, O bless the Lord, and you lightning and clouds, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you mountains and hills, O oh, bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O oh, bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you rivers and seas, O oh, bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea. O oh, bless the Lord, and you every bird of the sky, O oh, bless the Lord, and you wild beasts and tame, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you children of men, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord, and you priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh, bless the Lord. Ananias, Azaris, Misael, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. Let us praise the Father, Mother, the Son and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise for ever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise for ever. And now for the antiphon, springs of water, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. The third antiphon, all kings and peoples of the earth, praise God. And now we read Psalm 148. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels, praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon, praise him, shining stars. Praise him, the highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made he fixed them forever, gave the law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. 
Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon for Lent, all kings and peoples of the earth, praise God. <coughs> and now for our scripture reading for this third Sunday, and it's from the prophet Nehemiah, chapter 8, verses 8 to 10. This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep, for this day is holy to our Lord. And do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You were wounded because of our sin. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. And now for the Benedictus Antiphon, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up again, says the Lord. But the temple he was speaking of was his own body. <clears throat> and now I'd like to invite you to join me for the beautiful uh, canticle of Zechariah, the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed, and he swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence and as for you little child you shall be called a prophet of god the most high you shall go before the lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our god who visits us like the dawn from on high and he will give light to those who sit in darkness. Those who dwell in the shadow of death, he will guide them into the way of peace. Let us pray the glory. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up again, says the Lord. But the temple he was speaking of was his own body. And now we come to our morning intercessions. Let us bless our Redeemer, who has brought us to this day of salvation. Response, Lord, create a new spirit within us today. Lord, create a new spirit within us today. Christ our life, we were buried with you in baptism to rise from the dead. Lead us this day along the new path of life. Response, Lord, create a new spirit within us today. You went everywhere, Lord, doing good for everyone. Help us to help care for the common good of all. Response, Lord, create a new spirit within us today. Help us to work with other people to build the earthly city, but never let us lose sight of your heavenly kingdom. Response, Lord, create a new spirit within us today. 
healer of souls and bodies. Mend our broken lives. Let us receive all the blessings of your holiness. Response, Lord, create a new spirit within us today. And we pray this morning especially for all faiths, for all our religious leaders, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for Thich Nhat Hanh, for our Holy Father Pope Francis, and for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, Head of the Church of England. We pray for all the men and women who've dedicated their lives to God, for unity and peace from time immemorial. And we remember this morning our own Franciscan mighty companions in our community who are hurting, who are struggling due to the energetic shifts of consciousness. We pray especially today for our dear Nancy and her family. We pray for Sister Buffy in New York, for Sister Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia, for dear Miriam in New Zealand who is struggling. And we remember Sister Diane in Lancashire, our dear Sister Jane in Coventry, and we remember the soul of our dear Aunt Jenny and the young couple that she befriended, Claire and Frances, who are homeless. We pray today for dear Olivia, who's really doing well, which is good news. We remember dear Sister Elaine in County Durham and her mom, who's poorly. We remember Sister Teresa in Manchester and her mom in Yorkshire, who sadly got severe sciatic um, shingles. We pray for Brother Liam in London, for Brother Brian, our Franciscan trucker, for Brother Matthew, who lost his mom three weeks today in Texas. We remember Brother Paul, Brother Rob. We remember all the friends of our community we remember our hermits who live a solitary life and who pray for each one of us today. But we remember all our friends on social media, Sister Veronica Paul, Caroline on the Isle of Wight, Skip and Thomas Aquinas Q on Google Hangouts, and many, many more. Oh, and we remember Sister Gonzalez de los Santos in Winnipeg in Canada, her young son Daniel who's struggling with ill health and her brother Faustian. Ah, our dear sister Jane has joined us. Wow, how wonderful. Still rather poorly, oh dear. Well, we pray for you, dear Jane, and trust that all will be well. But we remember <clears throat> this morning struggles of the people in Eastern Africa, the Yemen and Sudan, where there's been a national appeal here in the UK to send funding where they predicted a famine of 20 million people for affecting 20 million of God's children. Let us hold these beloved children of God, our brothers and sisters, who are facing this awful tragedy where they will have no water, no food, no shelter. Dear Lord, touch the hearts of those who have plenty, that they give generously. And we prayed this morning for the many who've turned their back on God, maybe through personal trauma, maybe through disillusionment, maybe from painful childhood memories and experiences, but we pray for all faiths and none, for we are all one in the eyes of God, a God who has many names. We pray this time of Lent for our Christian brothers and sisters, that they use this time wisely to reevaluate their relationship with God and with other members of God's family, especially those of different beliefs, and try and become less judgmental and embrace God in each and every person. Let us be still now. 
Let us be still in the presence of God. Lord, you tell us in our thought for this morning to cast our worries and our anxieties onto you. Give us the courage to do that. Give us the courage to surrender what ails us, what troubles us, what befalls us. And rather than fight our illnesses, many as they are, that we bless them and give them to you and thus safeguard our energy and that we just listen to your inner voice, speak to our hearts as to why we have to carry these crosses. What is their purpose for us today? Explain it to us, Lord, so that we understand rather than fight you or fight ourselves and end up more debilitated than we are. We give you praise, O oh God, and I want to thank you for my own brothers and sisters in Ireland and pray for my brother Shay that he continues to make progress, although it's a little at a time, and thankfully he's out of intensive care, but still they're keeping a close eye on him. So let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. But we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer from the original translation, from the Aramaic. O birther, father, mother of the cosmos, focus your light within us, make it useful. Create your reign of unity now, your one desire then acts with ours, as in all light so as in all forms. Grant what we need each day in bread and insight. Loose the cords of mistakes binding us as we release the strands we hold of others' guilt. Don't let surface things delude us, but free us from what holds us back. From you is born, or ruling will, the power and the life to do the song that beautifies all, from age to age it renews. Truly power to these statements, may they be the ground from which all my actions grow. Amen. That is a lovely prayer. <clears throat> and now for our closing prayer for the Office of Lords for this third Sunday of Lent, we read, God our Father, Mother, in your infinite love and goodness, you have shown us that prayer, fasting and almsgiving are remedies for sin. Accept the humble admission of our guilt, and when our conscience weighs us down, let your unfailing mercy raise us up. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus, the Cosmic Christ, who lives who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of Sunday morning prayer. And I want to thank you for joining me this morning. And I pray that you have a good day too. And especially you, dear Jane, that all will be well for you that you pace yourself. Not easy. So, now for the Celtic blessing. And didn't Ireland do well? Sorry, England. I was routing for the two teams, but I guess I had to join my brothers and sisters in Dublin. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky. On those we love this day, and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon, 
and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore amen and as i come to blow out this flame in the presence of all the great ascended masters the spiritual teachers of all faith traditions in the company of the angels of God, the saints and all holy men and women who've crossed over and who stand in the presence of love. May the Lord Christ release you this day from suffering and bestow upon you a mighty blessing of peace and healing of mind, body and spirit. Amen. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Pax et Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo de Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our God, your God, reawaken in your heart that you are loved, that you are a co creator of the divine, and that your life does matter to God. If it's your bedtime, sleep well if not have a wonderful day up here it's wet it's windy and it's cold so if i were you i'd stay wrapped up and snugged up god bless till we meet again peace <clears throat>